The Mask, 1961, directed by Julian Rothman, starring Paul Stevens, Claudette Nevins, and Bill Walker. A psychiatrist goes on to a journey into human madness after a deceased former patient mails him an ancient mask that causes the wearer to lose their minds. This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. This might be one of the most visually stunning horror films I've ever seen. The ghoulish dream sequences play like a hellish haunted house ride, intensely theatrical but as mesmerizing as they are frightening. The script is fairly simple, but that actually works in the film's favor here. This film isn't interested in the how and the why behind the mask's powers, aside from establishing its origins as an ancient relic. In classic horror style, you, the viewer, are taken on a hellish journey into madness, as you see what the protagonist sees when he puts it on, and the effects it gradually has on him as the story progresses. The production of this film is fairly unorthodox, as the director was specifically approached to make a 2D film with 3D elements by a couple of New York advertisers. The plot of the film didn't even exist until Rothman signed on, with multiple members of the film crew writing the dream sequences. It could have been so easy for this film to become confusing or hard to follow, given the ramshackle origins of the script. Miraculously, the film is cohesive and balanced. The audience is encouraged to put their 3D glasses on whenever the main character puts the mask on in the film, a very fun William Castle-like gimmick. The film was obviously made to be a vehicle for the nightmarish 3D sequences, but it's the performances of the cast that keep the film rounded out and keep it fairly balanced. Specifically noteworthy is the performance of Paul Stevens as Dr. Barnes, whose increasingly unhinged performance reminded me of Boris Karloff. He easily could have gotten more work in horror. Martin Lavitt's performance in the beginning of the film stands out as well, as he channels Anthony Perkins as Norman Bates from Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Continuing the unorthodox nature of this film is Myron Schaefer's score, which blends traditional orchestration with dissonant electronic music and gives it an otherworldly quality. Finally, Herbert S. Alpert's cinematography is extremely impressive, especially given how relatively short his body of work is. I'm used to the camera work being fairly static in the films I review. This was a real treat for me. Verdict? Highly recommended. Though completely unrelated to the Jim Carrey vehicle from 1994, this mask is... smoking. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.